my gosh. Gotta get this gruesome scene. These poor animals are stuck in the salt springs. This is salt brine and it smells like sulfur. If you think you recognize the bodies in the water, you don't. Do you think they feel threatened by us? They're all laying down behind them. I mean, I can I can make it a little bit longer because look how sh look how long it could possibly. I mean, mm -hmm. actually, you know what? Well, you, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of overlap. It's, it'd actually be, it would work that way. Yeah, it's going to be fine. There's our new tent.
we are. Look at that. So what do you do if you meet another car? You pull me off the side of if you can. We are camping in the Smokies and so far it's been so much fun. We are staying at Abrams Creek Campground, which is, um, it's, I thought it was tenting only, but I think you're also allowed to have like little pop-ups or, um, you know, smaller trailers. But anyway, it's very peaceful and quiet here. No generators running. So this is our site, this is our new tent, which I am really loving. It's got this like screened in porch with its own little rain fly that's, that sticks out. So it doesn't get wet um, unless, you know, it would rain straight into there, but it has a, um, what do you call it? Not a vent, a drain, a drain on the the porch floor so that um if it did rain in there the water would not um get inside the sleeping portion of the tent so loving that in here is our little table and chairs and there's mike Say happy Smokies. Happy Smokies. Thank you. This is our first time ever using charcoal in a fire pit. And I gotta say, it is very nice because it was raining yesterday on the food. And it was no problem. So we're doing charcoal again and then that way we can save our firewood for a campfire tonight. Say yeah, yeah, yeah.
like right now my thought is my hands are greasy and I wouldn't want to touch my phone because I'm afraid I would drop it. <laughs> mm. Am I just trying to climb up this thing? No. No. Be out of it. And I just it was going too fast. I about to smash him up and he ended up falling. Oh my gosh. Your breeze going feels pretty good. What do you think of that? Were you drinking mine? I thought it was. Oh, <laughs> you were drinking mine too? <laughs>
<laughs> it's like a space needle or something. got that spare out and changed the tire so fast and so easy no complaining three men came up to him and said good job on that tire <laughs> and yeah so we rode from the park into Gatlinburg on the donut no into the road no into Townsend on the donut that needed air. And we put air in the in the donut. Yeah, we got air in it. And there's nowhere around for like 20 miles. Yeah, we tried. To get the tire plug. Yeah, we tried to get it fixed in Gatlinburg. Nobody could do it. We drove out to, where were we? Seaverville? Seaverville, I, Seaverville I don't know. Seaverville? They fixed the tire for under $20. Yeah. And uh, then we turn around, came back to Gatlinburg, and. Um, We're too early to get into our hotel. Too early to get into our hotel, so we had to pay $15 to park somewhere. I mean, we could have parked at the hotel, but then we would have been, you know, far away from where we wanted to be walking. Um, so. We, we, I wanted to do the cable cars here real bad. 
you know, $60 for the two of us. No big deal. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, it's a tour, tourist, touristy place. Everything's expensive. Yeah, so we're on top of the hill. We went across the suspension bridge that has the glass on it. Yes. That was interesting. Yeah. Not as scary as I thought it was going to be, though. And then you get all the way to the other side, and they have pictures and pop. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Or you could pay $32 for your picture. I, I don't know. So we turned around and came back over the bridge where they have beer and white cloth. Yes. Yes. Mm. So we camped one night at Big Bone Lick State Park, which was fine. That's okay. I probably probably won't go back. Got the t-shirt. Yeah, I got, got the t-shirt. That's all I wanted, and I love the t-shirt. Um, and then we were at Abrams Creek Campground. I would definitely do that again. We were at Site 13, which was nice. It was a nice site. Very, very shady. Um, but right by the bathroom, was, which wasn't bad. No, no. Yeah, they had flushing toilets there. No showers, so we haven't showered in like four days. Um, let's see. Oh, but if I was gonna camp at that particular campground again, I would get sites. It was eight, nine, and ten, or was it seven, eight, nine? The ones by the creek. Yeah, right off the creek. Not as shady, but easy to get down to the creek and what I would do is I would well, I don't even know if it was deep enough to actually have an inner tube I would probably just sit in the creek sit in the creek um, but what was a lot of fun is driving over the parkway is beautiful and there's all these pull-offs where you can stop and see this the mountains and no matter how many times you drive over it it's never the same view twice oh yeah clouds yeah. and stuff like that yeah clouds time of day um it's funny because you saw your first bear yeah we saw a bear we saw a bear we got up real early the one morning and while we were driving on the parkway we saw a bear cross the road cross the road in front of us and got even got a little bit of it on video and we got up early because we wanted to do Kate's Cove do the loop I was really really hoping that we were gonna see bears um, and we didn't we didn't see anything the, the people who work the park said they're usually it's either first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening so well it's really dawn or dusk and right. it doesn't even open till eight which is way past dawn and dusk this time of year is way past six when it closes and it's very very hot out i would not have been out and about if i was a bear either i would have been definitely under the cover of the trees or at a creek so it's no big surprise but at least we got to see one. Yeah. And Kate's Cove was. Yeah, I mean it was neat. You know, there was some historic stuff. I honestly, what I like the best about Kate's Cove is when we would park and get out to see something. There was always like a little trail that would go off into the woods, and and the woods were beautiful. And it just made me want to go hiking more than anything but it was I don't know the woods were like kind of magical to me they're woods you know you're the you're, you're the woods person not me so yeah um I don't know but honestly my favorite thing to do I think so far was to go tubing on the little river the tubing was fun and because now we go tubing at home in Ohio on the Mohican River and the Tuscarawas River. And they're, 
they're very slow and still. And this was the Little River, and it actually had some rapids. I mean, yeah. not like rapids, like you know, whitewater rafting or whatever. But it was kind of close to whitewater tubing. I mean, for us it was. There was one time I almost fell out of the tube. You yeah. know, like I had to hold on. And, and it's usually you can't. You, you try to get yourself face forward during that time never happens you're gonna hit a brock and spin around and you're going backwards over all that crap yeah i didn't even try to go face forward i i just was focused on lifting my butt so that i wouldn't you know hit the rock but yeah i don't know this was a long way to go to go tv <laughs> Yeah. But I don't know. This is a very like family friendly place. There I I saw a lot of like multi-generational families on vacation here together, you know? And all I could think about is waiting for our I mean our first granddaughter isn't even born yet, but uh, waiting for Lucy to be old enough to take her camping and taking her like vacation we did buy her a stuffed bear grandpa grandpa got it <laughs> all right come on wait 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 oh hope you guys are having as much fun as we are yeah, here's to you and here's to you at least we got that one picture the what that one picture coming up. Oh, of us? Yeah. Getting steep now. That's cool. It is nice, isn't it? I think it was a little scarier on the way up. Mm -hmm. Of course, that bridge was scarier on the way across it the first time too. It's probably probably a reason for all that. See the right hand side view. What's that up there? I think that's like Anakista. Oh, I bet that's Anakista. Uh, I bet you just too. Or is, is that Ober Gatlinburg? Alright, I think I'm gonna put this phone away. After four nights in a tent, we decided to treat ourselves to a hotel room. This is the Bear Creek Inn. We've got our own little balcony.
we just got done doing the the Alpine coaster here in Pigeon Forge. Yeah, so it's like this roller coaster um, that takes you, you know, you're in a car by yourself. Yep, you go, it's just like a little go-kart. You go up to the top of the hill and it just spins your Well, around. it's not just a hill though. It takes you up in the mountains. So like, it, it's really pretty. So you're, it's like a small pathway cut through the trees um, going up to the mountain. So it's, it's just beautiful. Good and time. then when you get to the top, just it's not like a roller coaster where it just drops you. It just it's a nice circular. It's yeah, like nice real small hill. You get some speed on it. Oh yeah, it, it goes it fast. Nice. It does yeah. go fast. But it's it's definitely a good time. Yeah, worth the money. Yeah, would do it again if we're back in town like this. We yeah, do this one or another one. So. Definitely among the top three attractions, I'd say. No, oh, yeah, so far. Top yeah. three, top four, something like that. Yeah, so good stuff <laughs> oh and we couldn't you know take a cell phone on there i don't think i'd want to yeah. you're, you're kind of holding on to the oh yeah you're, you're holding yeah. on to the brakes and you have to push them forward it's kind of like a to dead go, man switch yeah to let so go, you couldn't even stop you if you had a gopro a gopro with a, a mount like a chest mount you could probably do it but mm, nah. nah not worth it uh, i mean not worth losing your cell phone <laughs> yeah definitely all right Oh, this is nice. 